Now this goes out to all of my beautiful people. I'm Jay Star, you know it's nice to meet ya. 7:45 a.m. Catch me on the morning meetup, hosted by David Shane's. I want to say thank you for being a part of the community. The more people we have a part of the community, the stronger the community is. So real quick, let's just do this exercise. Uh, what city are you from? Everybody, just put your city in the chat. In the chat, just put your city in the chat. Put your city in the chat. Because I definitely want everybody to connect and collaborate and start doing stuff and not inviting me. Okay? I used to feel away. I used to feel away that y'all were doing stuff without me. Y'all, I don't get an invitation, especially when it's in Atlanta. But I'm gonna get over it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get over it. But it's all about connection. So this week, I want to do a um a we hold on, hold on, okay, real quick. Um, actually, it's uh, Bryn's idea to kind of go over the uh, the book for the week. You know, the things that we learned. Now, if you haven't, if you're just if you're new and you haven't read the book, that's okay because you are gonna get a lot of value from this conversation right here. You don't have to have read the book to really listen to what's going on today. But before we get into that, I wanna have a week end recap, okay? A week end recap. I think it's really important that we look back over our work. Imagine, imagine um, building a house and you just continue to build, but you never step outside of the house to look at it. You know what I mean? Like you, you, you're in the house, imagine this, you lay the foundation, you put the walls up, you put the windows in, based off your measurements, it should be good, you put the roof on, but you never step outside to see because something could have happened. Your house could be leaning and you don't check it. I think it's the same thing with um, building a business or building a life. We have to start look back over the week. In the chat, real quick, just write down something that you could have done better. Just text it out. What, can you, what could you have done better this week? Where did we get it wrong? Where did we get it wrong? What did we do that wasn't as efficient? Did we lose our cool? Did we say something to somebody out of anger, out of the moment? Do we typically do that? And we look back. Okay, again, I, uh, I told this story. One of my friends, um, he's, uh, he's like a on again, off again, on again, off again diet thing. And I get it because I'm the same way with going to the gym. Like we all have these issues. So I'm not talking about him. It's indicative of us all, right? We... It's just how human beings are. So he's like, yo, uh, one time I saw him, he said, man, I said, how's the journey going? He said, ah, I'm off it, man. And I was like, yo, I, why do you keep starting and stopping? He's like, man, I just, man, I just don't know, bro. I mean, it's just, I, I know, but it's just, I, I, I don't stick to it. I need to be more consistent. And he says, yo, I'm about to, I'm about to really do it now. Cool. I say, yo, it's, it's, it's been this up and down journey, man. Let's interview this thing. Let's, let's talk about what's happening here. Because if some of us start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, we think it's just inconsistency. We just need to be more consistent. That's what we chalk it up to. We need more willpower. We need to be more consistent. So we're having this conversation. I said, um, let's think back to this last time, why did you get off your diet this last time? What happened? Just remember, so you were on it and now you're not on it. I'm not asking you to go back through all your patterns, but this last time, what happened? He said, um, well, I, I, I had, I had a, I had a cheat day one day, because I can have cheat days. He said, I had a cheat day, but the cheat day was going into the weekend. And I think the cheat day was like Thursday or Friday, like a friend's birthday or something happened. I had a cheat day that day. But the next day was another event. So because I had the cheat day, 
I got off it the next day. And this is by like Friday or Saturday. So what happened was I told myself, what do y'all think he told himself? I'll start Monday. I'll start Monday. I'll start Monday. I'll just get back on it Monday. A cheat day turned into a cheat weekend. That cheat weekend turned to being all the way off the horse because it's okay to cheat today, which means it's okay to cheat tomorrow. And then we just start over Monday. Or some of us this early in the year are waiting until next year to start. Believe it or not, you talk to some people who have goals, they say, yo, next year I'm really gonna hit it. Or September, I'm gonna get started. But we had to identify where, like where we had to, we had to look back over the work. And I said, oh, it was the cheat day. Now, I don't know about your memory, but think back, think back a little bit. The time before that, what do you think got you off the horse last time? He said, yo, now that I come to think about it, I had another cheat day. The light bulb goes off, boom. I can automatically associate the cheat day with getting off my diet. It's the cheat day that does it. Somebody said that a cheat day is okay. Someone convinced him of that. Someone told him that the cheat day is a part of the process. Instead of adopting a lifestyle, it's the cheat day. Now, I believe for the next 20 years, he'd be on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. If he didn't start to consider what's happening, sit down and think, let's think back, what is going on? And then we identify the cheat day. Now we know if we're on the diet again, one thing we have to stay away from is what? Cheat day. The cheat day. The cheat day is a surefire way to get off the diet completely. So when I have this cheat day, you know what I'm deciding? I'm deciding that this diet is over. I've decided that. But unless you start to interview your habits, interview your week, and you sit down with your week and say, okay, how did this week go? What did we do wrong? Also, we can put this in the chat. What do we do right? What did we do right? Let's just throw it in the chat. Like, what are some, what were some really, really productive things that you did? One thing I did right was I decided that I was going to dedicate yesterday to, um, I was going to de dedicate yesterday to uh, knock it out some, um, some administrative stuff and content stuff and not having meetings. Now, I was really, really productive in a short period of time, which allowed me to have some meetings. I finished the work. I, did, I thought I, honestly, I thought I needed the whole day to knock this stuff out. I actually did it in a couple hours because I locked in. And what I said was to myself, next week, I'm gonna have a day that's no meetings, nothing planned, nothing scheduled, other than knocking out content. That's it. Yo, I've been, I was supposed to do, so I'm, I'm working on an album. I take some of my, like, my speeches and my presentations, and I have to, like, kind of chop it up to make it, make it, like, succinct, and I'm sending it over to the audio engineer. I was supposed to do it three weeks ago. I was supposed to do it three weeks ago. But I found this hack. I, I'm looking back over the week, like, dang, yesterday was really, really productive. Imagine if I had one of those every week. Okay. I think you need to have a, let's, let's have a weekend recap. Somebody give me the rights and wrongs of this week. Just raise your hand, raise your hand if you will, um, as we start to analyze what happened this week. Because I truly believe that if we spend some time thinking about what happened this week, next week will be a piece of cake because we can adopt the good and leave out the bad. And, and here's the thing, once we identify it, we'll start to notice it. Jonathan Jones. Grand Rising family, opulent rising. So for me, uh, the, the rights was I created a schedule and reached out to 20 people a day to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I did see some growth, praise God. And um, then the wrong was, you know, not 
not locking in time, like we talked about, and I believe it was a slight edge or the one thing to where I just hone in from like eight to 11 and don't allow myself to be distracted. But I had too many breaks during that time. Like I'd go downstairs, I'd go over here, do this and do that. So um, yeah, that that's uh, my share. Thank good, you. Good, appreciate it. D, rights and wrongs this week. Right, my wrong was that I didn't manage my time well this week. So I didn't have a, I, of course I write a to-do list every day, but I wasn't efficient and effective as I could have been. Mm -hmm. okay. um, the right was um, I was able to hang out with one of my um, buddies of mine to make a lot of money, right? So that was dope to to see him in this process. And I was also able to um, stop by your podcast, which was in my mind, getting back into the rhythm of being in the room of people that make more money than me. Yeah, good stuff. Well, you need to get back around that friend next week, <laughs> for sure. Like, yo, just call it right now. Like, yo, we need it. We made money last week. Let's get together again this week. So, yeah, good. Appreciate that. Uh, Amarika. Amarika, did I say it right? America, America. America. <laughs> hey, James, how are you? I loved your um, your The Ball uh, Ash Cash interview. I was watching it last night. Um, so I would say my, my win for the week was that I did my first, I'm doing my first live series, so I'm super proud of myself in terms of my marketing and getting everything out. Um, my not so win for the week was that I didn't pre-schedule my postings. So now I'm focused on, on posting everything that I need to post to get the word out as opposed to focusing on what I need to do in order to make sure that, that, um, that I am getting the most out of this experience in terms of being able to get the sales to come in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You see what we're doing? We're laying a foundation to the house. Then we step outside and look at it and make sure it's right. Make sure it's level. Then we come back and build something else on top of it. But we can't just build, 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 build without reflect. What's going on, family? David Shans. I want to give you a special invitation to The Morning Meetup, themorningmeetup.com. It is the only organization that gathers every single morning, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and we help you learn entrepreneurship, grow as an entrepreneur, become an entrepreneur, or you just get to be in an environment, a network of all entrepreneurs. Literally hundreds of entrepreneurs gather on a Zoom call every single morning, Monday through Friday. OK, so I want to give you a special invitation to help grow your business and your brand all this year okay every single day you eat every day for the for your health you brush your teeth every every day for your hygiene I need you to learn and grow every single day um, for your mindset okay so make sure you go to the morningmeetup.com it is only one dollar um, trial you don't need a promo code just go one dollar the morningmeetup.com check it out if you like us stay if not after that it's 79 dollars a month but I'm pretty sure you're gonna Enjoy yourself, okay? So go to themorningmeetup.com. I love y'all. See you in the morning. Um, we can't live our life off quotes because quotes don't tell the whole story. So we yeah. hear work-life balance because it's a it's a quote. We've we've heard it, right? But um, the person who said or created this term of work-life balance probably had a definite. It probably meant something for that person, and it worked for that person. But we can't, you don't want to spend your life deciding which quote to follow. What you, what you need to do is sit down today, look at your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, identify what worked and what didn't work, and try to improve next week. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. It's like, yo, did, did, did what I do feel, feel good this week? Did I feel balanced this week? Am I accomplished this week? Did I reach my goal this week? Did I fulfill all my obligations? No. Well, let's try I feel to like you got to do it next week. And here's the thing: I feel like sometimes be super we'll realize through this process. Wow. I'm sorry. No, I feel like you to be super successful. You just got to do like 16 hour days, well, and that's, that's not really a work life balance. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to figure out. You know, David, I'm just trying David, to David, 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 David. I don't want you to go off what you've heard because this is what I'm, I'm just hearing a lot of stuff you've heard. I heard that I heard work-life balance. 
I heard, um, <laughs> I feel like to be successful, I have to go all in because we heard yeah. that somewhere. Yeah. What I'm asking you to do, David, yeah. is to dig inside of you. Do you know success is setting a goal and reaching it? Now, if you say my goal today is to make, my goal this week is to make 10 sales of a product. Let's scale it back. My goal this week is to create my product. Let's say. Now, it might not take 16 hour days to, to create that product. You might get your, you might finish your, be successful in your week by creating your product, getting it ready for next week, and it might take two days. And you feel really accomplished. Congratulations, you're successful because success is setting a goal and reaching it. That's success, period. So this idea of success is, is put into our head through Instagram and social media. But if this week you decide that I'm going to have my product ready to sell by next week, you're successful. Next week, you might say, yo, I need to have 10 sales. And if you look over the week and you made 15 sales, you say, wow, I set my goal too low. Or if you set your goal for 10 sales and you made five, you might look back over the week and say, wow, I think I could have did it, but I didn't work hard enough. You know what? Next week, let me try to work hard enough. Let me... Let me remove the distractions that I had this week that prevented me from getting to, to from getting to the 10 sales. So what I like you to do is I need you to first decide, defy, decide what success is for you and go at it. My man, this appreciate is, it. You're very welcome. That this is for everybody. We gotta, we gotta look inside us. I'm not at, I'm not asking you all to review the week, period. So there are blog sites, they review the week of the world. And based on the world, then we have a good week, then we have a bad week. There's that, there's that calendar that's going on with the people's heads on there of the weird stuff that happens throughout the month. I don't know if y'all saw that. But that's what we're basing how good this year is off of. I'm asking you all to review your own week, your own life. I was super happy. Listen, in the last couple of years of working at the Cheesecake Factory and I got this little business going, I was super happy, super satisfied, happiest times of my life. There have also been weeks and months where I'm super up financially, but I'm having a re I'm not as happy as I was at the Cheesecake Factory. I'm not as successful as I was at the Cheesecake Factory. My idea of success was, yo, do I have more money? The bills? Do I have extra money? Yo, you wouldn't believe how happy I was to save my first $1,000. I walked around with an S on my chest, knowing that I could buy some stuff, but I decided not to. And it's not that I'm not getting it because I don't have the money. I'm not getting it because I'm on a journey. I can look over the week, how much unnecessary stuff did I buy? Not much, success. I'm happy. Well, what a shame would it be to, to accumulate all of the riches of the world and then not be able to enjoy eternal life. Or you become super successful. You reach your goal and your body gets hit with cancer and you got to spend all the money that you made on your health. You can't even enjoy it. How, how sad. How sad. Can you imagine? Can you imagine like really you got this business rocking and something tragic happens and you didn't enjoy your life through the process? Ariel, what'd you do right? What'd you do wrong this week? Aria. All right. I did what I did wrong this week. Um, two things I did wrong was not planning appropriately for my social media. I found myself posting in the moment. And then the second one is I, I did kind of pick an argument with my mama <laughs> this week, uh, just on some semantics. Um, and 
what I did right this week was um, I, I feel like I prepped really well for my clients because the sessions went well. And I launched my podcast today. So it's on YouTube and Spotify. And uh, super excited about that. <laughs> What's the name of it? What's the name? It's called the Work and Play Podcast. Work the Work. So I actually have to type it in right now because I have no ratings. The Work Apostrophe N Play Podcast. Congrats, congrats. That's major. Let's go, Ariel. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there it is. There it is. All right. All right. When uh so you launched it today. What day of the are you gonna launch it uh consistent day every week? Fridays. Every Friday. Every Friday. And I'll do every other week an interview every other week solo. Okay. I like it. I like it. Every Friday. Yes, sir. When are you gonna take your first break? Oh, that's a good question. I actually hadn't thought about that. My homegirl said I should do seasons. And I was like, well, I thought it was just uh, for me. I want to do 52 videos. So 52 weeks. So, so in take, a year. When are, you, when, are you, when are you going to take your cheat week? Like where you just don't do anything? Give me 12, give me 52 weeks and then I'll take a break. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I want to advise you that I haven't taken a break. Okay. Here's what I, here's what I know. And this is podcasting, this is content or whatever. The day you decide to not deliver is the day you lose a valuable listener. Mm. It just is what it is. They're gonna they're gonna go somewhere. Yo, this was this was crazy. So I was I was talking to somebody um about this whole podcasting thing, and I was like, well, I don't know if I want to produce too many video. I don't know if I want to produce too much per week. And I don't want to drop a video on YouTube every day. So right now we're at two, two per week, Monday and Thursday, and then we'll drop clips from other stuff throughout the week. And somebody said something really profound to me. They said, um, well, I mean, you could, you could drop a video every week if you wanted to. I'm like, ah, that would be overkill. That would be too much. And they said, well, the listener is on YouTube anyway. The day that you don't release a podcast, they're going to listen to a podcast, just not yours. <laughs> I said, oh. Oh, so my listeners don't only listen to podcasts when I drop, when I drop mine. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think of it like that. So, Ariel, here's what I'm asking you to decide. No breaks. I'm asking you to make this a lifelong commitment. Absolutely. This is a commitment. Yo, some man, listen, some people sign up for jobs knowing they're going to work every single Monday through Friday for the next 30 years. They know I'm, I'm committed or you become a parent. I'm ready to be a parent and be with my daughter every single day for the next 18 years. I'm committed. But when we look at our business and wow, I'm be stuck in this thing for the rest of my life. Yes. Yes. This is a lifelong work. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. So when's your first break? What week are you going to take off? I'm not taking a break. Yo, trust me. I've talked to a lot of podcasters and when they get into, not saying something's wrong with seasons, but when they get into seasons, what normally kills them, what do you think normally kills, and I'm not even gonna ask you to answer, Aria, I want somebody else to answer. Okay. What do you think kills somebody that gets into seasons? Meaning we're gonna do this for this period of time, and then we're gonna stop, then we'll kick it back up the next season. For my podcasters, what do you think would kill somebody when they decide to do that? Stopping. That time off. Momentum. Lose the momentum. That time, that time off. off. Killer. That time off is a killer. Yo, if you ever been in your flow, in your zone, you got, your, you got the momentum, you got your routine, you're getting better, and then you just stop. Come join the most amazing live mentorship and accountability group for entrepreneurs every morning. The, the Morning Meetup. Do you have a business idea you need to get off the ground? Do you currently work a nine to five and are looking for supplemental income? Come and network with like-minded individuals and take your business to the next level. Every morning from 8 to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with David Shands and friends. 
Try The Morning Meetup today for just $1. Head over to themorningmeetup.com. That's themorningmeetup.com.